Hi everybody, Miss Sarah here. Thanks for joining me for another World Culture Wednesday, when you get the chance to learn about a new culture from around the world. Today, we are traveling down to Panama. Panama is a country in Central America, and it sits in between Costa Rica and Colombia. Panama connects South America to North America, and it also connects the Caribbean Sea to the Pacific Ocean through a man-made waterway known as the Panama Canal. Panama has a tropical climate, which means it's home to unique animals and plants. One symbol of Panamanian culture is a mola, or molas. These are layered pieces of fabric that often include an image of an animal, surrounded by geometric shapes and patterns. They can be found on the front and back of traditional blouses worn by women. Today, we are going to make our own molas out of colored paper. Let's take a look at the materials we will need and get started. For this activity, you are going to need some colored paper, and if you don't have colored paper, you can always color your own with markers or crayons. You will also need a pair of scissors, some glue or some tape, and a writing tool like a pencil or a pen. Step one, draw an animal or other shape onto a piece of colored paper and cut it out. Save the scraps because we will be using those later. Step two, glue your animal shape onto another piece of colored paper. With your drawing tool, trace this shape onto the second piece of paper. Make sure to leave a little bit of space between your original animal shape and the line you are drawing. Then cut this out. Remember to keep the scraps. Now you should have an animal on one color piece of paper with a border of another color. The third step is to glue this onto a final piece of paper. Step four, now that you have your animal in the middle of your piece of paper, use your scrap pieces of paper to cut out geometric shapes and add them along the outside of your animal. I'm going to take a couple minutes to finish mine, but I will be back to show you how it turns out. All right, everyone, here is my finished mola after I have added all of the geometric shapes and different patterns. You can even see I added some shapes to the top of my bird. In a traditional mola, each color you see is a separate piece of fabric. The quality of a mola can be determined by the number of layers, the stitching used, and the size of the cutouts. They can take hours to sew together. Thanks so much for watching and learning a little bit about Panama with me today. I hope to see you next week. Bye everyone!